Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, which is the Canadian Bill C-22. Now the Canadian government first tabled this bill back in 2019, and the bill was intended to help people that are on disabilities in Canada. And unfortunately, when the pandemic hit, this bill got uh, shelved and nothing happened with it. Well, in 2022, it was brought back um, to life and currently is being debated um, by the Canadian government. Now, this would affect me. However, I don't think it will before I turn 65. And that's when um, you are no longer entitled to any disability in Canada. Now, what you need to do if you want to see this bill go through is you need to contact all the government folks who are in charge of uh, disabilities in Canada. One of them would be uh, Carla Qualtro, and I will put a link to all her information uh, up in this video and down in the description as well. You also need to voice your opinion on social media in any facet that you can, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, um, whatever the case may be. Now let's take a look at what this bill is. So this is the site that you can go to to um, look and see what this bill is all about. Um, the bill, it's an act to reduce poverty and to support the financial security of persons with disabilities, establishing the Canada Disability Benefit, making a cons <clears throat> consensual amendment to the Income Tax Act. And it was first completed on June 2nd, 2022. And as I said earlier, it actually was tabled in 2019, but due to the pandemic, it never went anywhere, as the Prime Minister called an election. So, the second reading was completed on October 18th, 2022, and currently it's in consideration in the committee. Now, one of the things that you need to do if you want to see anything happen with this bill is you need to contact the people in the government and let them know what situation you are in and how you feel on social media. So the person you need to bring attention to is Carla Qualtro, who is the Minister of Employment, Workforce Development, and Disability Inclusion. You need to make sure that this lady, um, who's the minister, understands the situation that you're in. And you can do that by contacting her on Twitter. There is her handle on Twitter. And letting her know that you indeed are a person like myself, who's disabled and needs to make more money than eleven or $1,200 a month, which is what the current um, average CPP disability payment is. And if you can bring enough attention to these folks, we might actually see some progress. Now, you also want to make sure that you contact her on Facebook as well. And that's her handle there on Facebook. The other person you want to let know what's going on in your life is our Prime Minister. Um, let him know that, uh, you know, the struggles that you have. And um, if you're not on social media, you need to draw up some kind of a document and mail it to these people. Um, mail it to the local newspapers. Mail it to... Um, anybody that will listen is the only way to bring more attention to this bill and the hardship that people face that are on disability in Canada. Because we all know with inflation and everything that's going on, um, the, the amount of money that's currently available for folks with disabilities is very uh, inaccurate inadequate. And I know myself, 
I have constantly um, contacted these people and brought it to their attention, uh, the struggles that I have. And um, you need to do the same thing as well. And when you, when you post to Twitter or Facebook or whatever the case may be, you need to make sure that you use hashtags. So if you're going to contact them on Twitter, after you say what you're going to say, you use the number sign and put in C22 or disability or Canadians with disability, all those types of things. So these will get brought up um, when people do searches for uh, anything to do with Canadian disability. And that's what you need to do um, to bring this to the attention of the folks who could make changes in this situation. Now, the, the, what, they're, what they're currently supposedly trying to do with this bill is figure out how and how much money that needs to be um, given to folks with disabilities. So if you're somebody that's living in an apartment by yourself and the, you have very little money left at the end of the month, if any, to feed yourself or provide any of the other basics of uh, life in Canada, you need to maybe draw up a document, like I said before, with a budget on it and show them that indeed you cannot live on what they are paying. And I'm hoping that bringing this to your attention, uh, my subscribers, as I have done other videos on disability and CPP, that, uh, you know, we can all band together and, and uh, encourage the government to move a lot quicker on uh, on Bill C-22. So anyhow, I hope uh, this might uh, help some folks that are, are currently, uh, you know, in a bad situation with uh, disability in Canada. And if you uh, keep track of this website, parl.ca, and do a search for uh, C-22, you can see what's happening uh, with this bill and um, the progress. So here's the minutes of the of the latest proceedings on November 16th. And you can see um, all the people that are uh, involved. So contact all of these folks and let them know the situation that you're in. That's how you get things done, unfortunately, is bring it to the attention of the folks that are involved with it. Um, we can all you know, complain, um, but if we don't complain in the right direction or to the right folks, unfortunately, we'll never see anything come uh, very quickly. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting more videos and have uh, posted videos about CPP disability and retirement in general and, and uh, ways to um, help yourself when you're on disability how to apply for disability and, and some tick, uh, tips and tricks to, to get approved. So thanks very much. I hope you're all you're well. I hope you are all well. Talk soon.